Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to Undertale. Now, I decided it's time for a new series on the channel, and uh, this is pretty much all I can think of, so I haven't played this before, and I guess it's already starting on its own. Long ago, two races ruled over the Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the races. Two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later. Dot, dot, dot. Anyways. Oh, Mount Edit. 2001X. That, I don't know. Legends say those who climb the mountain never return. Interesting. Um. I'm gonna assume that this girl is about to or a guy. This person is probably falling. Yep. Falling right in. Yep. Uh, nice one. Nice one. Yep. Fell right on your face. Nice. Congrats, person. You, you did real good. You did good. You did what I immediately thought you were going to do, pretty much. And what's the hole like filled up or something with snow? That's what it looks like. Undertale. Alright. So yeah, I've played this once before, but it's been a while, and, uh, let's uh, go with a, you know, normal name for ourselves. The name's Marco. Yes, that is correct. We are Marco. As our character name. And, okay, we're in this little area with a bunch of flowers. How did we even survive that? We just fell down a mountain, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna give this game a try and see how it does. Uh, I'm not expecting it to do, okay, right. Flowey. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to tell you how things work around here. I guess little me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. Oh god. See that heart? That is your very soul. The very culmination of your being. We got that. Your soul starts off weak, but it can grow strong if you gain a lot of love. What's love stand for? Why? Love. Of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Uh. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Ow. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Uh... Die. Um... Uh, no, 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 no. Oh. 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 a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if someone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. And here we go, guys. So, I guess this is how it goes. This is our journey to the beginning. Toriel! Oh, let's make sure we save. Shadow of the Ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP before we start. Save. Yeah. So, it's been a while since I played this game, guys, and, you know, it's gonna be new. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. I think we're not gonna be here long. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. 
Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. What's this say? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones. Foolish ones. Both walk, not the mill road. Is that supposed to be a riddle? To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. What's the sign says? Press E to read sign. I press enter, not Z. Stay on the path. Well, you know, I don't want to stay on the path, but I guess I gotta. Uh, hmm, do I need to press this one? Bet you I do. <laughs> oh. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let's move to the next room. Hold up, what does this one do? Bruh. The switch doesn't even work. Wow. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Solve for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. You want me to talk to a dummy? Okay, whatever. You encountered the dummy. Act. Dummy. Fuck. You talk to the dummy. Nothing. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Really? Cordial seems happy with you. Aww. That's nice. Ah, very good. You are very good. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I, I, I believe I can. I, I believe it wouldn't be too hard, would it? Oh. Froggy attacks you. Froggy, compliment. Froggy didn't understand what he said, but with far day face. <laughs> oh, she's not happy. Get it. You might want to leave, Froggy. You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. <laughs> nice. The western room is the eastern room blueprint. What? <laughs> okay. Oh. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Yeah, I don't think I want to walk through spikes. I don't want to take that chance. Um, that uh, wouldn't have made too good. Yeah, I definitely would have, like, you know, sat on a spike or two and, you know, ruined my feet. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult re request to ask you of you. Don't tell me you're gonna ask me to die. I would like you to walk to the end of this room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Yes, yes. Guys, this is such a hard task. I am so scared right now. Oh my god. What am I ever gonna do other than just keep walking? Anyway, so, how's everybody's Friday going? And yeah, we're gonna see how this does on the channel. I don't know how it will do. But I think it might be... It's gonna be fun. So... These videos may end up being, like, a bit longer than normal, but... I mean, you guys are gonna have to deal with that. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you here. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there is an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? That ain't happening. And she's gonna call, like, very soon, I can already tell. Ring. Hello? This is Torio. You have not left the room, have you? No, not at all. There are a few puzzles that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click. Will you have to save me? Ribbit, ribbit, excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until they, you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Well, I gladly will. What's up here? It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Yeah, sure. I'll take one. I'm not gonna take more. I'm not a monster. Uh, yep. Play playfully crinkling through the leaves fill you with, fills you with determination. Issue for resource. I don't remember losing any. So yeah. Oh, another battle. 
Wimsom, uh, consult. Halfway through your first word, Wimsom bursts into tears and run away. Okay, I didn't even say, get to say really anything, and they're just like, eh. And I'm falling down through a hole. Okay, well, we obviously want to go with this one. Alright, that's pretty easy. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Uh, we're gonna go with butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Wait. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know your preferences, but... Would you turn up your nose if you saw it on your, found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Of course I wouldn't. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Let's go. Alright. Uh, that was obvious. That was... Okay, I was going to read the sign. Oh, it's just you. Uh, console, and... Goodbye! <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna run away every time I try and talk to you, I guess. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. What do you mean by that? Is there gonna be one that's like, Do not push me! Oh, this was I, I at least remember this one, but I'm definitely still gonna fall through. Yeah, I know it. Ah, okay. This one's always gonna be a bit of a nuisance to me. I always end up, like, failing it some way. Mold small. Okay, mold small. Flirt. What a meaningful conversation. Oh, 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 oh. It's our first actual battle, guys. Oh, well, so, Yep, we can spare it first. Alright, good. We gotta go for that. Cool. We gotta go. Cool. Aw, oh, so close. You're joking. I have to go all the way to the edge there. Okay. So close. Alright, well, I got it this time. I got it this time. Third time's a charm if, you know, Mold Small doesn't get in my way. And we flirt with your hits. Wood, Mold Small, Willow is back. What a meaningful conversation. Scorch. Okay. Oh, this is different. Uh, okay. And spell. Good. I got a gold for that. Yay! And there we go, we finally made it. Alright, push this rock. Oh, is this where the third, like, rock thing is gonna happen? No more small, just leave me alone, please. I'm gonna wiggle my hips every time at you. Alright, it's this one again. Avoid all these things, because we know what happens if we get touched by them, we nearly die. Uh, yep, called it. Well, that partner, who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Uh, hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Uh, no. Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. Oh, thanks, mate. Was that helpful? Yes, it was, sir. Uh, Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Bro, it's not that hard just to move a little bit. I mean, how are you even moving? You're a rock. It's not even a living thing. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Aw, how cute. Is there even... <laughs> this is funny. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. <laughs> um, th um, hello there. Are they gone yet? <laughs> this ghosty, ghosty thing, please. Out loud, repeatedly pretending to sleep. Move with force? Yeah, we need to move it. Here comes Nats the Blue. Or, I just weigh you down. Nah, you wouldn't. Oh, what the? What the? What is this? Hold up. I forgot about this. But I think we got cheer him up. <laughs> Bro, I'm not feeling up. It's not to it right now. Not. Oh, sorry. But I'm just gonna keep cheering him. Okay, avoid the tears. Okay, and we gotta cheer him up a little bit. I actually kind of like this music. It's pretty neat. 
Nuts Blue wants to show you something. Let me try. Oh. I call it Dapper Blue. Aw, oh, it's so cute. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. He's got a nice hat on him. <laughs> oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met someone nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. How interesting. Let's see, what's here? Okay, that's somewhere to go. Let's see over here. Uh, webs and a sign. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Oh. I'd appreciate not doing spiders right now. Did you miss it? Spider bake sound down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. I don't want food made by spiders. I don't know. Anyways. Ribbit. Ribbit. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. <laughs> well, at least you listen to me. What if I skip them? <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make... Yeah, I know about that. I'm already using fourth screen. <laughs> but what does F4 stand for? For frogs? Yeah, sure. I actually don't know what F4 stands for. It's something for. Uh, I only had seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. I like how they added that. That's actually really cool. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of it? Very helpful. Yeah, very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. That's definitely just a hint towards the future. That's foreshadowing. Ring. Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things running around about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than what you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You want to leave your room in your pockets for that. What, you mean for like more candy? Oh. Okay. Oh, we can already... Hold up. Uh do that, I believe. We can already spare him. Good. Oh, is he not attacking? He's just dancing. <laughs> nice. Oh, well, gee, I can just already... There. Yep. Nice. Two gold for that. Beautiful. There is just one switch. And it's this one. I remember that. Wait, there's something over there. I need to get the over- I need to go over there. What is that? Or I'm gonna get attacked by a... Carrot? Fuck. Plants can't talk. Uh, I- 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 I have some... Things to say about that, as you literally just talk. Alright, dinner. You pat your stomach, vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Oh, okay. He said to eat my green, so I touched the green. I should- Oh, I can- Barely. Great. I love sparing them. I like being able to spare people. I do not like kill people. What about this? Oh, it's a vegetoid. Of course it is. Uh, dinner. You pay your stomach. Vegetoid offies offers a healthy meal. Oh, thanks for the healthy meal, mate. And... Yeah, spare them. That's not for good. And we're just gonna, you know, try and get out of here this time. Because hopefully that lever actually did something. Oh, it did. Good. Hold up. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. What? It's a switch. Press it. No, I'm not gonna press it. It's a switch. Press it. Okay, you know what? I'll press this one. Nothing happened. Oh. Nothing but I'm getting battled again. Oh, wait. Yes. And he's just gonna dance. Beautiful! <laughs> and beat. Goodbye! Alright, let's see. What happens if I do it? I'll press it. Yeah, nothing happened. Nice. That's what they mean by it's a rotation. Press it. Yeah. Hear a clicking sound. Yep. I think I know this one. 
If you can read this, press the blue switch. I did. A pear vegetoid comes out of the ground. Uh, dinner. Pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Oh, uh, what? Give me my green. Give me my greens. Okay. And spare one of them. Good. Uh, you know, this is a lot harder than I remember. <laughs> dinner. Pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a heal healthy meal. Eat your greens. I will. You give me a chance. I ate it. Now mercy me! Or actually, I mercy you. And there we go. Hi. Right. And this one says, If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay, I'm going to press the red switch. It's a switch. Press it. Yeah. You hear a clicking sound. Good. And our battle. Whoa! That's three of them. Anybody can spare? No, not yet. Looks... Uh, let's see, Vegetoid, I know I can get some from you. You don't seem to really do much, so I'm gonna do that. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Uh, I've never fought three at once before. Okay, that's actually new to me. That is actually completely new to me. Uh, we're gonna go here, and we're gonna say, don't pick on. Oh. Okay, don't hit me, please. I, I prefer to be left alone and spare you. And you're just gonna dance. When it's only just him, he just dances. Good. And spare you. Okay, that was kind of difficult. I was not expecting that. I believe this is the one where we flip this one. Yep. I had a feeling it was this one. Nah. Can I? Oh. Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. I don't know, I was stuck there. Oh, look through here. Uh, don't pick on. Finally, someone who understands. Duh. And spare. Yep, goodbye. Five gold. And what'd you say? Just... Press the green switch. Yep, I know it. Hey, right, finally, we're out there. And we can go up or we can go this way. I'm gonna go this way. Let's see what this way. A ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Torio come over, come out of here just a while, a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her, Ribbit. Hmm, I wonder why. We found the toy knife. Cool. Wait, uh, item, toy knife, news. You cut the toy knife. Cool. Not like I'm really gonna need to use it since I'm merciful, but you know, it's worth a shot. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Uh, I'm right here, Toriel. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise me you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Uh, sure. Uh, let's just, you know... Come on. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Cool. What's that sign above there? I can't read it. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon... Butterscotch... Nope. Cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. And we have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Um... <laughs> snail pie? <laughs> here. I have another surprise for you. Oh, what do you have for me? This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Ooh, I probably will, as she's patting me on the head. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself home. Um, yeah, don't burn the pie, please. I'd actually like that. You've seen the... You've seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Okay, can't interact with that. Nothing can interact with that. Ooh, what's in here? Just a regular old bucket of snails. Ew. It's Torio's diary. Read the circled passage? Yes. Read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. I already have- I already know where that's going. The rest of, a pa of the page is filled with the jokes of a similar caliber. Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. Really? 
It's an encyclopedia of subterranean, subterranean plants. You open them to the mill. Taifa. A group of wetland flowering plants with bl brown oblong seed ball pods. Known more commonly as war sausages. Nice. Okay, well, let's get out of here. And let's see here. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Nice. Room under renovations. Okay. It's you! Wow, we actually get. Yeah, uh, wow, it's actually me. Wow. It's me, Marco! Alright, well, uh, no, not there. Anyways, let's actually check out our room. Uh, look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> yeah, they're so cool. Yeah, I'm not interested. I can't, can't interact with that. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Oh, I wonder why. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, let's go check on Torio. Uh, okay. And let's go over here. Oh. Well, let's see. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and a fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the hearth we walked. Until we reached the cavern's end. This is our new home, which we named. Home. Great name. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. <laughs> you don't say. And the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Seriously, you, you had to make them childproof, eh? Hello there, little one. The pie is not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Oh. I guess it, I guess I'm gonna go take a nap then. The fire isn't burning hot. Just pleasantly warm. You can put your hands inside. I do not such, suggest that. I honestly do not. <laughs> Might end up burning your hands. But they said something about taking a nap, so we're gonna go let's take a nap. Oh, yep. We're, we're actually taking a full-on nap. Oh. There's pie here for me. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Nice. I'm gonna save that. Anyways, since we've taken our nap of however long, let's go check on Torio, who's still here reading book. Nice. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. Bug hunting spot, excuse me. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps this isn't, that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. Are you only interested in snails? How about it? Uh, how to exit the ruins? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Do you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? How's that snail fact? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, how to exit the ruins? As to do son. Stay here. Um, no, I'm not staying here. I'm seeing where you're going. Hold up, we haven't checked down here yet. What's this? These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Alright, well, let's check on what's going on down here. Yep, had a feeling. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. Excuse me, what? No one will ever be able to leave again. Oh, uh, excuse me. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No. No, 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 Torio, get back here. You are not destroying that. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, as Gore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No! I want to leave. Do you... Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. I'm leaving. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. <laughs> you were just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. You know, I will. I will prove to you I'm strong enough. For real. Talk. You couldn't think of any th conversational topics. Uh, uh. What? Toriel looks good. You know what? Spare her. Just 
try it because that's something that I had that foreshadowing of. Toriyo's acting aloof. Fair. Okay. Let's just avoid all fire as much as possible. Toriyo's look through you. Fair. Uh, avoid fire, avoid fire, avoid fire, avoid fire. Toriyo looks through you. Am I supposed to do something? Oh, no, she's like that. Uh, fire is painful. Toriyo looks through you. Spare. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to spare you. Uh, this hurts. Toriyo prepares a magical attack. Spare. Attack or run away? No. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm getting this. Alright, Toriyo looks through you. Spare. What are you proving this way? I'm proving that I can do stuff. Okay, I need to heal. Uh, pie. You ate the bar scotch pie. Your HP was maxed out. Beautiful. Ow. Okay. Uh, fight me or leave. No. Alright, avoid the fire. Avoid the fire. Avoid the fire. Avoid the fire. I said avoid it. Burr looks through you. Spare. Stop it. I will not. Alright, Toriyo is acting aloof. Stop looking at me that way. No. Ow. Your fire hurts. Toriyo looks through you. There. Go away. I do not want to. Alright, come on. Alright, we got this. We got this. Da, da, da. Ow. You're actually gonna kill me, go mom. Right. Toriyo looks through you. Uh, monster candy. Join the monster candy. You recover 10 HP. Good. got this. I believe in us. There. Just a bunch of... Uh. Oh, she's not even attacking us anymore. It's there. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My, expe my expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aww. Goodbye, Toriel. Goodbye, my child. Yep, goodbye. I I'm leaving. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, yeah, goodbye. Let's get out of here. Do, do, do. Finally, we are done with Toriel now. And now we are on to the next section of the game. Let's go. Okay, this progressively is getting lighter on the ground, it seems. Oh, there we go, finally. Not you again. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Eh, eh, eh. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But will you do it if you m meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up on this entire world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, I forgot how creepy he can be. Anyways. Goodbye, yeah, guys.
We'll see you guys next time.